Wait a minute. Am I about to talk about a multiplayer game's launch and not have to bash it into the ground for having connection issues, glitches, being unbalanced, and most of all, underdeveloped? Well, to a lot of people's surprise, Division 2 has to be one of the most complete games I've ever played. Did Ubisoft and developer Massive Entertainment really take the feedback from their fans to try to make a game they wanted? And to top it off, did they actually go above and beyond what the fans asked for and put in gameplay mechanics and features that we didn't even see coming? If you were hesitant on buying this game, all I have to say is don't fear anymore. Go buy this game and enjoy the massive amount of content provided. For Division 2 to be a part of a saturated market of looter types of games, I have to say it's been the best launch of a multiplayer game I've seen since Anthem. Wait. Not Anthem. I meant Fallout 76. Oh, crap. No, wait. Since, um... Give me a minute. Let me think about this. I got it. Since Borderlands 2 launched all those many moons ago. Now, I know it's blasphemy to compare Borderlands to any other game except Borderlands. But I have to say, Division 2 is a very strong exception. This game has been such a great experience from the top down... I've had very few glitches that aren't game breaking and the fun I have with my friends can't be measured to any other game I've played. Because as gamers, we know that first impressions are everything to a gamer. It's why games like Anthem and Fallout 76 are struggling to keep people engaged, while other games like Apex Legends and Division 2 are putting out quality games that people can pick up and play without worrying about connection issues bugs, or lack of content. These are complete games being launched for fans to enjoy at the same price these other games are asking for, minus Apex Legends, which is free of course. And that has to be a testament to Ubisoft and what they've been doing the last couple of years. You look at their games and you can just tell time, passion, and detail has gone into them. This isn't coming from someone that's played the game for a few hours and wants to talk about it. No, I've put in well over 40 plus hours over the week, I've unlocked the end game with the Black Tusks, and now I'm working towards unlocking World Tier 4 so I can do the last stronghold and work my way towards the raid. And I wanted to give everyone a full review, so to speak, about why Division 2 might be the best looter shooter game I've ever played. First up is the world, and let me tell you, it's massive. While the first division was set in New York City, while winter was going on. This time you're in wide open Washington DC and it's such a better venue. The monuments in the world just screams high quality. As you run around to your next objective, you can't help but stop and marvel at the environment. Ubisoft was able to put out. The attention to detail had to be a point of emphasis because every street you go down or every mission you go to is filled with so much organized chaos. And to top it all off, the world feels actually lived in. When most games will give you awesome set pieces in their missions and story mission, Division 2 gives you set pieces in the open world that feel so organic. Be it a patrol ambushing you, or you plan to stop a public execution, it all feels so amazing and fluid. Not to mention extremely rewarding because you get so much loot and experience for actually helping the people around the world. And when you enter the end game and the Black Tusk faction is introduced to the world, the map goes into complete chaos and it's utterly awesome. And speaking of the missions, I have to say the missions are so fun and have quite impressive set pieces. Not only do the main missions take about 30 minutes to complete, but they also require a lot of strategy on your part. Enemies will flank you and take you out if you don't survey the field of battle beforehand. I love that I can't just run into a room and ramble my way to the boss. This game forces people to play the game as a tactical person and don't expect to have the same feel to every mission. The variety is a lot better than what we experience in other games in the same genre. Now of course the main mechanic is go room to room and shoot a bunch of people. What sets this game apart from other games is the locations you fight in. They are very detailed and filled with a lot of variety. I've never been in a gunfight and felt like I've done it before. I always found the environments to be so unique and fresh. The Washington Monument, Aaron Space Museum, the Lincoln Memorial, and the White House all feel so amazing to play in. That's where the graphics come into play, and I have to say this is one of the most impressive looking games I've played this entire generation. Ubisoft's Snowdrop Engine has outdone itself because no matter where I am, 
I always want to look around and enjoy the streets, buildings, animals, encounters, and weather. I will say the game looks amazing, and I was fortunate enough to play this game on the Xbox One X, which is the best place to play outside of the PC. Do yourself a favor and play this game on the enhanced consoles or PC if you are able to, because it's just breathtaking. But next up is the sound. While the game looks amazing, it still needs to have top-notch sound quality for it to have the full effect it needs. And again, Ubisoft delivers one of the most diverse sounds as you work your way through the campaign. You'll be fighting some groups out in the open on the street and the sound is awesome. Then you'll work your way into a building for cover and return fire and the sound will change instantly because you're in a small room with a powerful gun. It's so immersive, it makes you feel like you're right in the street fighting with your buddies, especially if you have a nice pair of headphones. Not to mention, as you're roaming the world as you go to your next objective, you'll hear distant fighting on the streets or a firefight will just start right in front of you, and the sound comes in loud and in your face. Oh, and the music is pretty sweet too. So trust me, everything about the sound is quite top notch. I haven't run into any sound or audio glitches like there was in the beta in my 40 plus hours playing this game. So I'm happy they got that fixed. Next up is the controls. As you can see, The Division is a third person cover based shooter that punishes people for running into the open. The whole point is to actually use strategy when you encounter an enemy. And unlike the first Division game, the enemies you fight die very quickly. But with that comes the enemies being more intelligent. They will flank you and try to overwhelm you with different types of attacks. Sometimes it's sheer numbers that overwhelm you, or it's outmaneuvers that do you in. Whatever the enemy tries, you have to adapt very quickly. It's an awesome core mechanic that no other looter shooter has done before. Not to mention the shooting feels authentic, great, and concise. I don't get annoyed with guns, I like trying different types of guns, and it makes it worthwhile to kind of mess around with builds because each gun has its own unique feel to it and it feels awesome. But the main reason why this game stands above all others in the genre is because there's so much to do in the game. So much content, and I truly mean a lot. In the open world there's bounties, control points, convoys, public execution, random ambushes, shade tech, to collect loot everywhere and not to mention enemy factions vying for every single one of these. There's no shortage of content, this doesn't include the main campaign missions which are very detailed and difficult, or the side missions that almost feel like main missions because they have their own 2-3 to three set pieces inside them that made me feel like if I didn't do the side missions I was missing out on something. There's also secret side missions that you could find around the world that unlock if you explore enough. But it doesn't stop there. Once you hit level 30, there's three strongholds that you must complete to unlock the actual endgame content that consists of a new faction called the Black Tusk and a fourth stronghold that's run by the Black Tusks. And once you unlock the Black Tusk faction, you get a complex bounty system that you could work your way through to get better gear and also replace certain campaign missions. But instead of the regular enemies, you will face Black Tusk enemies who are much harder and difficult to face. Tie this all up with specialization skill trees that you must level up in order to become even more powerful, and this doesn't include the raid that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. That is an 8-man raid, and Ubisoft has been keeping very secret. Yeah, that's a lot of information, people, and let me tell you, it's worth doing every single one of those activities because you will get better gear, guns, armor, mods, and all sorts of other cool things to help you get ready for the raid that comes out soon after. And I'm not sure if you've noticed, I haven't even talked about the Dark Zone or any of the PvP elements because I didn't do any of it. So I haven't even touched a whole other aspect of the game because I wanted to concentrate on the PvE aspect of the game. Now, that's what you call a complete game. I just read off so much content and activities to do in the game and didn't even go into the PvP aspect of the game at all. Think about that for a second. That's what sets this game apart from any game I've played in a very long time. It's almost thrown me back in a time when I played World of Warcraft as a young kid. 
I remember leveling up in that game and being blown away. And when I got to the end game, I was blown away again because there's so much to do. I have that exact feeling with this game. I'm almost overwhelmed with the breadth of content that's provided to me. The Division 2 isn't stumbling out of the gate like a lot of games in this genre have. It's refreshing to play a game that feels so complete and ready for gamers to play without being worried about the problems that are normally attached to these types of games. But what's really crazy is that these types of games take a little bit of time to truly show the type of quality they will be. So over the next year, we will be getting free updates that add content, raids, specializations, and all sorts of game modes, all for free. So if the launch of this game is any indication of what those free DLCs quality will be, I'm not worried about this game in the slightest. And I recommend people go download this game and just experience one of the best games that came out this generation. But enough about what I think, I want to know what you guys think about the game. Go down below in the comment section and let's have a discussion. Do you guys like the game so far? Have you been hesitant on buying the game due to Anthem and other games like it? Do you agree with my assessment on Division 2? Has Ubisoft become one of the best developers around? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Any support helps the channel out more than you know. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always there talking games and sharing my videos. Also follow me on Twitch. The link will be in the description. If you want to hang out and chat with me, I'm very active with my chat and always playing games. I hope to see you guys there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later. Vital signs critical.